any day I see our culture, I will tell our culture is a disgrace to this generation. Our culture is the first footballer in Nigeria that a man like that and can one go sitting down to watch them. You don't watch football, you watch artistry. Our culture is a football artist. He plays football not to score. He plays football for you to enjoy. He made football a pleasure. He never betted his way to playing for Bolton. Never betted his way for being the best player. And he's a face of a betting company. Shame to Okocha. Shame to a man called Okocha. Anywhere that this can reach him, shame unto you. If you did not bet your way to greatness in football and you become a face of a generation and what a betting company is telling young people is that don't struggle hard. Don't work hard. Don't be good at anything in life. Just look for money and bet. It means be useless. Be hopeless. Today there is an appointment to end betting in the life of somebody in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. And and, and, and I insult Okocha. Internet, just let Okocha know that it's a disgrace to my generation. That a man who took football to the height of pleasure and beauty will be a face of uselessness called betting. The Bill Gates become a billionaire was Microsoft founded upon betting. Somebody who bets uses, uses smartphone. Samsung did they make Steve Jobs did he bet his way into changing the world with technology? And a man will sit down and make you useless. That's what it means to be a cult, inexperienced, but tied. Tied means you cannot go anywhere. You've never seen your potential. You don't know you could be an artist that would draw and sculpt. You don't know that you could be a poet writing. You didn't know you don't know you could be a novelist writing. You didn't know, you don't know anything about yourself except to sit down and dream of numbers and permutation to bet. Who has achieved greatness? Nelson Mandela has not become a, a political god of Africa through betting. These are people who sweated. These are people who suffered. These are people who paid the price. And betting companies are coming out every day. And a generation is being used, made useless. My generation, God forbid, I speak. Rise up wherever you are. Raise your right hand. Whoever is in this place that has ever done better, I confront your spirit. I untie you and I let you go. 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 Halabo shakanda. Libra supra kanda. Can somebody, can somebody just lift up your two hands? A cold, young, inexperienced. What is God telling you? No matter what you've been through, don't settle. Don't think you know. There is something God wants to teach you. Which means give God a chance. Don't be like Zachariah, the father of John the Baptist, who said, I'm too old. I'm too old for God to do something new. As a cult means, yes, whatever God says, like Virgin Mary say, whatever you say, I, I agree. Whatever you want to do, I have to lift up your tongue and say, Lord, I accept to be a cult today. I accept to be a cult today. I accept to be a court today in the name of Jesus Christ. Those hands down, don't be seated. Look at me. And just guys sent. Just was not prayer. He didn't say, Go and pray. I'm not praying this morning. He said, When you go, let me, give me that scripture. When you go, you will see a court tied. And I see it now. A court tied, a husband tied to an evil, immoral relationship. And marriage is crumbling. I have seen you. You are a candidate. I'm knocking you down. I'm coming back. 